All right, we're asked to solve this quadratic equation with the quadratic formula. Um, first and foremost, let's look at the quadratic formula. It's the solutions to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero has the solutions of x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, and importantly remember is that a, b, and c are just the coefficients of this quadratic equation when it's set equal to zero, which is a very important part. Looking back at our example, um, the key here is we don't have a b value. We don't have this x term, but I could rewrite this if I'd like with a b term. I just make it zero. So I get 3x squared plus zero x's minus 15 equals zero. And so now our values for a, b, and c are a equals three, our b equals zero, and our c equals negative 15. So let's plug it back, let's plug it into this quadratic formula and see what we get out. So again, um, what effect this had. So this b equals zero, I get a negative zero, which is just a zero. And then zero squared right here. Everything else will work the same. Okay, and then I'm just gonna simplify this answer. And always the key is, is simplifying the square root part. Uh, so we'll get here is x equals, uh, negative zero is nothing. We'll really get as a plus or minus uh, square root of four, negative four times three times negative 15 gives us 180 over 6. Okay, so the job now is to simplify this 180. Um, and over here, um, from a, just real fast, talk about simplifying the square root of 180. I'm looking for the largest perfect square that goes into 180. Um, I could do some factoring with 180. But what I found is that 180 is 36 times 5, 36 being the largest perfect square. Um, it's a factor of 180, so that would turn into 6 square root 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do here in simplifying this expression is I have x equals plus or minus 6 square root 5 divided by 6. And then to simply simplify this, I would just cancel the common factor of 6 in between these to get a final answer of x equals plus or minus the square root of 5.